Rajendra Prashad's biggest argument for a state of Jharkhand not being created and remaining a part of Bihar was that we were not economically independent. Our revenues were not large enough to sustain us and that we needed revenues of Bihar to sustain us. Now you look at the irony of that. Today, what is the picture? It is exactly the opposite. Where we have the revenues and Bihar is nothing. The amount of revenue generated from Adivasi areas, which in Jharkhand itself, you forget the rest of the Adivasi areas, is 33% of India's mineral wealth. You think enough revenues aren't being generated because of those minerals? Now, who should be the beneficiary? Someone sitting in Bombay or Calcutta? Or should it be the people living on top of it? So, revenue is now not the problem. It is the government's job to make sure it's fairly divided. Now, if the government is being unfair about it, who does one complain to? When they talk about land reforms, I say, why should an outsider tell me how to reform my land laws? If any reform has to be done, it has to be done by us, the owners of the land, to sit down, talk and see how, how we can better utilize this land, how we can make it more productive, how we can preserve it. Not for an outsider to come and tell me, oh, we need your land and we'll use it better and we'll make money and leave me landless and starving on the roadside. His money has created a job for 10,000 people. So those 10,000 people are more important than the one person who's lost his land. Morally, I don't think that's an argument at all.